Penny, share with us your stuff. Penny Richards, streaming, crocheted panel, streamers, fabric, ribbon, and wheelchair. 40 inches by 20 inches by 72 inches, 2020. Six foot long orange, pink, magenta, and lavender ribbons flutter from the top edge of a crocheted panel, affixed to the back of a heavy duty stroller near its handles. The panel has wide blue and pale green stripes. This is my fifth opulent mobility. I sat here and made the list because I wasn't was really five. Yeah, it's five. It is always a delight. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, Anthony, for all the work you do putting into this. I'm a carer for my adult son, Jake, who uh, loves noise and lights and color. And we like to have adventures. And our first optimal mobility project was uh, Jake's Halloween costume one year. <laughs> he was a, uh, it was a steampunk submarine that I attached to his wheelchair and um, that had pinwheels that moved when he moved and there was a wheel cover that was a spiral. And I always like to have sort of motion and sound and, and a lot of interaction with the moving wheelchair and the environment. Jake's not in his own world. He's not special. He's part of this world. He's, you know, he's, needs to be, he makes an effect on the world and the world makes an effect on him. Um, he's not in a bubble, even the sheer. Um, so all our projects have had something, some of that. Uh, they're tactile, they're, they're in, mo in movement, they, they have jingle bells, uh, <laughs> they have mirrors, whatever gets them in to, to have an interplay with, with where we are. But this year I thought the way air moves is literally a big deal to everybody this year. Like it's not, it's not just something I think about because, you know, he's high risk. It's something everybody thinks about because what's invisible could kill you. So um, this year we made a piece that sort of makes the way wind moves tangible and, and visible. And I usually look to how bicycles are, are tricked out for ideas about what to do with a wheelchair, because if you can do it for a bicycle, you can usually do something like it for a wheelchair. And so with this project, I started remembering about handlebar tassels. I don't even know if kids do that anymore. We used to attach like tassels to our handlebars on our bikes and they would go fluttering in the wind. I wanted to do something with that, with his wheelchair, but just way bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Well, the distance of the year is six feet. So uh, the longest of those those uh, streamers are six feet long. So they can in, they can actually illustrate social distance um, when they're moving. And I have it right here with me, so I can I can play with the uh, the ends of the streamers. I, they're too long for me to hold out because they're six feet. All of the streamers were stuff that was around our house. We can, we can't go shopping, right? Um, so we have some. Um, this is like gift wrap ribbons and crafting ribbons and t-shirt t-shirt yarns um the t-shirt yarn i was able to put on so i wrote uh march 10 this one says march 20 dancing in the driveway that was the thing we did back in march dancing in the driveway <laughs> i liked the idea and i loved how the video came out on a really windy day that we could get sort of lovely chaos and sort of colorful movement um because this year has not been lovely chaos. It's been dull chaos. It's been very tedious. Um, he doesn't go out much. He can't go anywhere really. So that was a, a pretty rare day that we took him down to the beach and sort of parked him where no one else was gonna get near him and, and let it rip. When I make the projects for Opulent Mobility and for Jake, I think about how we can actually be useful. He can be in the chair while we're using them. They, they're, not, um, they're not just to look at. So I have to accommodate rolling wheels and in this case, the pushing body had to be accommodated. So we had to sort of work out the location of the ribbons so that the person pushing the wheelchair could still walk. And you can see that in the in the longer video, we included uh, some of his dad pushing him. It requires that person to actually do a little bit of uh, change of gait. I love the look of, of the sheer <laughs> joy that he's got going. It's like... <laughs> He loves wind. He loves the noise and the wind and the, the crazy. Yeah, he loves all the, the chaos that makes him happy. So that was actually, we had to keep sort of making sure it stayed clear of the wheels, making sure it stayed clear of the, um, of the person walking and things around him. And some of the times it got knotted up and sometimes they got tangled in each other. And, and that's okay too. That's life. Um, you'll notice that this isn't the um, standard wheelchair that we've used for press projects. This is a conveyed stroller. Um, which has smaller tires and is meant for pushing. It's not meant for self-driving. It's just that that was an easier one to get a larger 
a larger space on the back of really. And also we hadn't done any decorations for his conveyed chair, so we <laughs> so they needed some help. It's Prepe over foam core, so it's fairly lightweight. And that, that's something I always have to think about when we're making these is the weight. Uh, you can only do so much, um, attach so much to a wheelchair without affecting its, its operation. Um, it's removable and portable, which is important because we need to be able to load it in and out of the car. The streamers are, like I said, are various lengths and materials. Lots of duct tape because life is duct tape at our house. I, I wanted to add that crochet is a social act. Even, even this year, crochet is a social act. And pretty much the only things I do on Zoom besides this today is, and doctor appointments, is um, various crafting groups. So I want to credit my, my team, the support and encouragement from Catch a Wave Crafters, Knitting Tree Los Angeles, Beach Cities Fiber Arts, South Bay Drunken Knitters and the Yarn Bombing Los Angeles. Thank you. That's it so far. <laughs> no, I really loved it because the first time that you got involved, as I recall, the AC unit, this was uh, when the show was being held at Cal State Northridge and it was like 110 for weeks. The AC unit just started beating <laughs> down water on everything. So I'm like piling the sculptures in the middle and covering them with tarps. I'm like, Penny, we can't put your work on the wall. Can we please put it on the wheelchair? Because that's really where it belongs. No, because it was cardboard. <laughs> yeah, it was going to melt. <laughs> like, exactly, it was. It was. I make cardboard costumes, yeah. so. <laughs> Water and cardboard. <laughs> that was a really fun day. It was great. They, they took the uh, the LAX flyaway up to Northridge, and, and that was super fun, too. A good adventure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for bringing it in each time and just and making now, so lively. Now when I see myself here on, on screen, It feels like um, it feels like um, Mona Lisa here. I feel like I have like a Mona Lisa background. <laughs> awesome, of course. Strike the pose. You've got it. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much.